There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with an hour time limit and record it live. This is the result. Zik Tokai. More gameplay. And it's an island of sorts. Some sort of tropical island. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Well, that was convincing. Oi, come here! This does not sound Ow, like the brightest fellow. Grab him. Don't grab a cat. That's a bad idea. You ever try grabbing a cat that doesn't want to be grabbed? And apparently, the Divide by Zero production is suggesting that the cat can swim the ocean. We are now in a boat that the cat has somehow got on. Fair play to the cat. It is a resourceful cat. And off onto the docks. Excellent work, cat. Welcome to the gene machine. Oh, I hope we control the cat. That'd be excellent. This looks like a carriage. Yes. Oh, it's the 1800s. Excellent. I could talk like this for the rest of the video, but I won't. So, this is quite an extensive introduction. And our stealthy cat is animated and being stealthy. And is reading a newspaper. Piers Featherstone Hall. Oh, I say it can talk! ...is due to return from the Americas. Sorry, I'll stop that now. ...a secret mission of the utmost importance to the British Empire. If anyone can help me, this man can. Yes, but why does the cat need help? Already questions are being asked. Piers Feverstone Hall, Esquire, is on his way home. There he is, along with some kind of mutant troll. Ah, England. This green and pleasant land. Heart of the British Empire. Uh, After three your months voice is in the wrong America, speaker, fella. Couple of okay. Weeks a steamer in a third class cabin. Oh, it's good to be home, isn't it, Mossop? It's good to be back on dry land. Sir. Mossop. So it's a human being. Some of not some random chap. You can't creep creature. a good man down, sir. Just try keeping your meals down for now, Mossop. We're nearly home. Righty ho, sir. Well, we've got stylized graphics. And we've got some decent voice acting here. So, uh, looks like some sort of adventure title. Uh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? This was released in 1996. So, uh, you know, the graphics and sound had come a long way by then. And, uh, it looks like we are not controlling the cat. We are Mr. Feverstone Haw, Esquire. And our faithful Mossop is carrying our bags. Ah, London. The hub of polite society. The very cornerstone of civilization, eh, Mossop? Yes, Mossop. Right you Absolutely. are, Absolutely. America's all very well, but I wouldn't like to live there. I can't Heavens help feel no. there's something missing. Poverty, I expect, Mossop. Not enough dregs of society. No beggars, no urchins, no common street tarts and drunken ne'er-do-wells. No wonder you felt out of place there. Still, it's a young country. Give them time. They'll have their own poor one day. But America is so big! How will they ever be able to manage all those people? Don't be too disparaging of the Americans. They could be very useful allies in a war someday. Ho ho! Lamp shaving! And let's go home, Mossop. There's bound to be one in the streets, sir. So, we have to get a cab. And yes, this looks like a point-and-click adventure game. So, uh... They, they lampshaded the World Wars there, which was uh, a nice nod. Let's look at this poster. It's advertising the joys of travelling up north. Up north? We don't want to do that. Also, I think the stereo is reversed for some reason. So, uh, there's positional audio, as you can hear. But I don't think the paper boy's over there, because that's the exit. Yeah, okay, paper. We get it. That lady has a story or two to relate. So... The air is full of the sounds of her idle chatter. Ooh, he's... He, okay, we get it. Paper. Looking after her child must be a monumentous task. So... There's a misanthrope. That young upstart could do with a lesson in good manners. Y you're going to hit the that brat? That young upstart could do with a lesson in good manners. Okay, th there's a guy screaming paper over here. 
I think this, yeah, stereo is reversed, so he's actually over here. Yes, we heard you. What can we do? Um, let's look at him. It's a boy selling a periodical of some a kind. Periodical? Well, I never. Let's talk to him. Let's see. You are not worthy of my attention, boy. That's, that's how I feel when I talk to most people. Uh, what are you selling? What are you selling? The latest copy of the Sporting Times, Gavna. All the results of last <laughs> week's racing within these very there pages. There we go. Essential information Useful. indeed. Useful. I'll take a copy. I'll be needing your payment, Gavna. So we need to give this guy some payment. Now, clearly that's the give function. So, I don't think he'll want our handkerchief. Let's try and give him our handkerchief, huh? I see no reason for giving things away unnecessarily. That seems reasonable. Okay, let's instead give him... If I give too many valuables away, I shall have to register myself as a charity. Oh, right, so you don't give him your wallet. Uh... What about the train? That engine is a fine example of British scientific Paper! craftsmanship. And this urchin is a fine Paper! example of British lung power. He is screaming paper Paper! at the top of his lungs repeatedly. Uh, give... Status. Oh no, there's the menu. So we've got our score, save, load, credits, audio, subtitles. Controls and quit. Right. Okay. That that's decent. That engine yes, is a okay. fine example of British yes, scientific we, we, we are aware of this. Um, wallet. Please. I ought to be a little more discerning in where mm. I leave my possessions. So, how do we barter with this guy? Because we no can't give him the wallet. Can I have a copy of the Sporting Times? Can I have a copy of the Sporting Times. I'll be needing your payment, Gavner. Yeah, we have a wallet. That engine is a fine. We are aware of what the engine is. Thank you. Uh, but when we try and give the wallet, it doesn't work. So. If I give too many valuables away, chastises us to myself as a for, uh, for trying that. Now let's talk to him one more time. Uh, you are not worthy of. You are not worthy of my attention, boy. Paper! That's a great response. Thank you. Uh, you, urchin boy, summon us a handsome cab. Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm selling a newspaper, and my master be as like to flog me to death if okay. I was off for not selling. Right. Um. So. You are not worthy of my attention, Do we attention, need boy. to find money somewhere? I I don't understand. It's advertising the joys of traveling up north. Oh, we don't want to do that. Let's let's not go up north. Let's exit. Right. Mossop. Let us look at him. He's not important. He's my manservant. This is correct. Diminutive. He looks like an under tall. An under tall fellow. fellow. Yes. He looks like an okay. under tall. Okay. Yeah, that's not the guy fellow. we were trying to. He looks like a well-bred chap. Oh, so he's he, he's got a thing about height. What a sprightly young fellow. All right. And there, there's a dog. I wonder where the owner of that dog has gone. Okay. And there. Out for a midday stroll. I should All think. All right, that's nice. Let's just wander off. The taxi cab. Use. So, presumably there was more to do there. Or maybe there wasn't. Maybe it was just a sort of brief tutorial to show us how to operate the game. Though by 1996, I'd say most people knew how to work a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, right, we have made it. Instruct the driver to wait here. Yes, Mossop. I may want to go out again later. Righty ho, sir. Right. We're on our way. So we've told Mossop what for. Home at last. Fetch me a drink, Mossop. I need to relax a little before I make my report to the Queen. But you're not due to report in for a week, sir. Better make it a large drink, then. What? And just a reminder to everyone, the Queen was not the current Queen. Ex excuse me, Mr. Featherstone. Oh my god, it's a talking I can't cat. I believe it. 
Nor can I, sir. I don't believe you cannot pronounce my name properly. It's fan. I believe it, that was a Victor Meldry reference cancer. as well. It's which is nice. English. It's hardly talking oh, English close up. pronounce one's name. It's perfectly simple. F silent E A silent T silent H <laughs> silent E silent R S silent E yes. silent O N. Swap the N and the S. Silent E H A U G H. Or Fanshaw. Fanshaw. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Fanshaw. Please accept my sincerest apology. Very well, but don't let it happen again. What do you want? I'm desperately in need of help from a renowned gentleman such as Absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. Oh, you want a job? Well, I'm sorry, but I already have Mossop here for my manservant, and I'm happy with his work. But if you can cook anything other than bags I mean, of mash and Mossop really stretches the definition of man at this point. Minutes, you might be in with a chance. Oh no, Mr. Fanshaw, I'm not looking for work. That's typical okay. of the youth of today, Mossop. <laughs> they think the world owes them a living. Too true, sir. You misunderstand Betty me, sir. as well. I am here to implore you to undertake a mission. A mission so dangerous and so important that the fate of the world may very well depend on it. There's so much dialogue in this game that to there's not much for to me say. to say. As a gentleman, you know? I'm obliged to hear All right, story, keep going. Make it brief, or Mossop, as a manservant, will be obliged to throw you out of oh, my Wordy. Well, Thank you. My story begins thousands of miles away on a remote tropical island in uncharted okay. waters. There. Deep within a mountain lies the diabolic laboratory of Dr. Dinsey. Okay. Who's Dr. Dinsey? He's an evil, twisted oh, genius no. who has discovered the satanic secret of combining two different species to make a new creature altogether. How terrible. He has a device that he calls the gene machine. Hey, that's the, the title of the thing. completely destroyed, and the resulting animal is so different, so strange. Mr. Fanshaw, what he's doing is against So this is God like himself. the Island of Lost Sounds Souls. Right to me. Maybe this doctor could combine Mossop with a fish to get him some sea legs. You don't understand, Mr. Fanshaw. Dr. Dinsey intends to create an army of horrific creatures which he can use to take over the yes. world. This all seems a bit far-fetched to me. I am living proof of his madness. He took a normal alley cat and okay. combined it with a human being to make right. me. I was his 73rd experiment. That's my name, 73. So you have all the sentience and intelligence of a man. This is a long cutscene. Cat. Yes, Mr. Fanshaw. Washing myself has a whole new meaning to me now. You wouldn't believe what I can bend over and lick. Oh dear. A real gentleman would never lick himself. There. Now, you get someone else to do it. You know, I think <laughs> this is just some sort of confidence trick to extort money out of god fearing Yes, fellows. a talking cat You're is a confidence just trick. Some suit boy with a, a tail. Mossop, throw him out. No, wait. You're my only hope. There is no one else brave enough to conquer Dr. Dinsey. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sure there's lots of gullible people around who'd only be too happy to help you. But they don't have your reputation, Mr. Fanshaw. <sighs> I'm sorry I bothered you. Right. We finally... Uh, he's... I thought you were the bravest adventurer He's still in following the us. The newspapers must have it wrong. Maybe I'll try Rafe Kingpiece instead. He claims that he fears nothing at all. Kingpiece? I wouldn't believe anything that rogue says. The man's a charlatan. He dyes his hair, you know. He's not naturally blonde. And yet I'm sure he would take on this mission. For a price, I'll wager. The knowledge that he had saved the world would doubtless okay. be rewarded. Okay. Not for him. That bounder this can't is be trusted. Turning if he'd into saved a, the world, uh, he'd probably keep it an for animated himself. novel. Give isn't me no it? choice. Help me, Mr. Fanshaw, or I will have to ask Mr. Kingpiece. Well, we can't have that, can we? Master? Hail a carriage to take us okay. to Buckingham Palace. I'll inform Queen Victoria about the situation, and we'll have the Royal Navy sort this scoundrel out in short pip, order. Pip, I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. Dinsey has spies uh -huh. everywhere. If a naval task force was assembled, oh my God. To and disappear until Come it was on. too powerful to stop. We'll find someone else to help then. Who else would believe my story, Mr. Fanshaw? They'd think it was a trick, like you did. You'll have to do it alone. My master is not afraid to fly in the face of adversity. Okay. Thank you, Mossop. I'm Just what exactly do you expect me to do? Beginning to you see must get to Dinsey Island and defeat the Doctor. <sighs> Why Army. this is Where not is this considered island? one of the uh, great point-and-click adventure the area games? Is uncharted, so I don't You've probably know. spotted it as well. Have to find I'm, I'm just going to start Master talking over the top fine. of this. Thank you, Mossop. That is an excruciating length 
of exposition. My God. I knew the location of the island. I mean, this is making plain sk plain torment look shallow and pedantic in comparison. Then we must chart the ship and by you know the quality of the writing, but by the the length. What funds do we have left My God. American trip? But if you wrote this all down, threw in a few sort of descriptive bits of passage, because you don't want to set sail again. You'd have a book. Oh no, sir. But this looks like an animated book. Easily too, just this once, please. Okay. All right. Couldn't we tackle a menace that's just a brisk? Right. We've. Oh, look at that, fleas! Fantastic. Right. Finally, finally, mercifully, we're done. Let's go pick up my cigar case. Why is he moving so slowly? This might come in handy to put things. Yes, in. take the cigar case and pick up the newspaper. I must have words with Mossop. A gentleman cannot be expected uh -huh. to tidy up after himself in Absolutely. this day and age. Absolutely, uncalled for. That's. Uh, the music is not inspiring me either. It's uh, hmm. very pedestrian. No, it might just be this area. Possessions. I should consult the Royal Scientific Institute about this. Okay, that's nice. Um, exit. The walking speed there. Look at that. That's it's not great. Uh, chest of drawers. That's my private drawer. It contains my most valuable okay. documents. You know, I was entirely expecting that to be a lot longer. It's locked. Okay, so it's locked. We'd need a key for it then. How to be a complete gentleman. All right. I already know that one off by heart. Uh -huh. So, we've got a smarmy, stuck-up protagonist who presumably has shown the error of his ways after a while. Um, hopefully. Uh, we've got a talking cat and a manservant. Uh, we've got a distinctly sort of ordinary interface. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing too different. And we have reams upon reams upon reams of exposition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the exit. I'm not going to quit the game, though his movement is absolutely... Ooh. Right. Let's just abandon these two. Let's go. Let's go visit Queen Victoria, shall we? Come on. Come on, you lot. Let's leave. Yep. We're off. Let's take the taxi cab and visit Queen Victoria. Come on, Mossop. That's a good boy. And he left his front door right wide open. So, we've got a map screen now, which is nice. We've got a train station, and we've got the Royal Scientific Institute that we need to sell things to, and the docks. So, we'll go to Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. There we are, pulling up outside the palace. Very important person, able to see the Queen at a whim. And much like the dialogue, the animation is a bit long. Okay. Are we going to see the Queen, sir? We certainly are, Mossop. Not only do I have to report on my American business, but I will also ask for her help in vanquishing Dr. Dinsey. But you aren't booked in to see her until next week, sir. And you know how she is about appointments and punctuality. Yes, yes, I know that, Mossop. But this is an emergency, and I am one of her most secret and trusted okay. agents. I'll get in to see All her. Alright, so... This normally contains certain items okay. that should be flushed, not burned. Right. That, that's great. Let's just wander past. Yep. <laughs> Who goes here? Identify yourself Beef eaters. Be I am Piers Fanshaw, secret agent of Her Majesty the Queen, and I carry news of vital importance to the Empire. Piers? Who? I've never heard of ya. That's because I'm a secret agent. Now let me in. So he's like an 1800s James Bond. Do you have a badge? Secret agents don't have badges. Or they wouldn't be very secret, would they? Do you have any gadgets then? You know, like fountain pens that turn into Gatling guns. Or a walking cane that converts into a field <laughs> cannon. Or a top hat that always points due north. No. Now, let me past. Do you have an appointment? Yes. It's just not for okay. today. Okay. Then I cannot let you pass. 
ordinary people can't just walk into the palace whenever they Absolutely feel like not. It. You must have an appointment. So Her Majesty won't see anyone who hasn't got an appointment. Well, if you were a royal <sighs> stock yourself, that would be a different matter. They always look after their own. Hmm. I see. That was uh, excessively long. Again. So I think you're beginning to see my issues with the uh, the game in general. So we need we need to find royalty in order to get into the palace. Yada yada yada. Basic fare for a point and click adventure game, you know. We have to put all the bits and pieces together. Um, let's go to the Royal Academy thingamajig and uh, where to, Governor? Where to, Governor? Um, Royal Scientific, Royal Scientific Institute. Institute, Kensington. Yeah. You'll never guess who I had in the back of my cab yesterday. Not if I sit here silently staring out of the window and pretending not to hear you. No. Absolutely. Okay. So here we are at the Royal Scientific Institute. And, uh... Yeah. That's, uh... That's some interesting aspect ratio there. <laughs> oh dear! What are we Mossop, doing here, what happened sir? to you? We may be able to sell some of my possessions to the Institute to raise funds for the mission. Where are we going to find the yes. other 7,999 okay. pounds from? Uh, I'll have you know that some of my possessions are very valuable indeed. That Ming vase of mine, for right. example. You know, the one you drop when you're okay. testing it. Well, I'm sure I've got some other items yes. that are worth selling. So, he he's, he's seems to have been crushed here. I mean, look, look at the menu. There he is in the menu. There he is outside the Institute. And poor old Mossop has fared even worse with this aspect ratio. And, oh God, he's climbing stairs. This could take some time now. Do, do, do. Any time today. There we go. Right. Let's just wander over here. And there's a curator. Let's talk to this curator. You can't go through there, sir. It's for historians and scientists I see. Only. How do you know I'm not one of the cognoscenti? You're dressed too tastefully, sir. Please let me in. I'm a, a collector of antiquities. I'm afraid you'll have to show okay. me that you're a serious yep, collector. There we go. This is an elite establishment. We can't yep. let any old that, yep. riff in. Okay. You must let right. me in. <sighs> let me through or my manservant will bite you. That's an option. Uh, Herbert George Wells, missing link. Uh, I won't talk yeah. with you now. I'm a busy man. So, the music, again, is just droning along. Not very interesting. The, uh, the conversation system's okay, but it suffers from verbosity. You know? And uh, it's ironic, somebody like me talking about verbosity. But... Uh, you know, the animation's okay, the backdrops are alright, you know, everything's sound, everything's in place, but the degree of exposition and uh, the general unlikableness of the main character um, means that uh, there, there are good reasons why, like I said before, this isn't considered one of the upper tier point and click adventure games. I'm going to stop at this point because you've, you've seen sort of the basics of the systems and how to play and all that, you know. But uh, as far as point and click adventure games go, I, I don't think I'd come back to this one. Uh, who would I recommend it for is pretty obvious, I guess, you know. If you're a point and click adventure game aficionado and uh, you've run out of all the usual suspects and you want another, then... Uh, here it is, I guess, you know. The voice acting is decent. There's plenty of dialogue. <laughs> plenty of that. Uh, the setting is, is nice. It's sort of 1800s London. So, you know, th th it's not all bad. It, it's not a game I would look at and go, this is terrible, why, why on earth am I playing it? But, uh, I don't know. Point and click adventure games, they, they need to have a certain something whether it's the setting or the the uh, the audio or just a tight script or you know this feels like it could have done with a few more revisions uh, the character being more likable being one of the most important ones I think um, yeah 
you can you can see what it was aiming for and uh, is very much mid-tier I think and I'll stop playing now and I'll go and I'll take a look and I'll see all these glowing reviews for it that I hadn't previously spotted and look like a complete fool but yeah that is the gene machine it's alright I guess if you like that sort of thing <laughs>